Hey, do y'all remember Frankenleg? <laughs> well, now I'm going to try to make one that's a little more bright and cheery and um, shabby chic, I guess. Well, Frankenleg was shabby chic, just a bright and cheerier version, I guess. If you can get that with a Frankenleg. But uh, I had this made for a long time. And it got all twisted and warped with stuff laying on it. <laughs> And so I got it and I stuck it back in here. Well, see, I'd made it on the outside, but I stuck it on the inside and wet it and let it sit and harden. And then I added this kind of glue and it's waterproof. So I'm hoping that'll keep it just humidity from warping it. Although I had stuff laying on it and my piles of junk and all that. And uh, <clears throat> so I put it, I put paper towels after it dried in there and then I put that waterproof glue on it looks all yucky don't it <clears throat> and then I put it on the outside too and uh, I laid it up here to dry I didn't fit it down perfect because it don't fit perfect anymore and uh, just to keep the calf from sinking in too much so now, I'm going to make it white. I might go, I don't know if I want to stress a leg or not. Hmm. I'll be thinking what I'm going to do next. Okay, I went digging around my fabric. And I laid that jar of paint there because I'm going to paint the leg white. And I want to see how this would look laying over it. And it's got the little dots. And so I think it'll kind of make it look like pantyhose or something. And so I'll like if that's a leg, I'll put this over it. And then I gotta figure out something to do at the top. See, this has the little dots too, but it's a little too bright. And then this is a little too pink. I might could like coffee stain. Where y'all at? Where are you at? Might could coffee or tea stain it. I don't know. But I'll be thinking. Right now I'm gonna paint it white. And put the, put this on it, and maybe I don't want to use Mod Mod Podge. It gets wet. It looks white. Uh, I'll put something over it. It might be Mod Podge. I might just say eh, and use it, but we'll see. Okay, I meant to record this, but I got carried away and forgot. <laughs> okay, I took the the tab off of a Coke can, and I bent it pretty much in an L shape and it wouldn't have to be a perfect L shape just as long as you can get a wire in it and then I put the E6000 under it and then some around it and then I went back with a paper towel and put the wood glue under the paper towel and over it and that way it'll kind of match the rest of the back not that it matters but okay I got the fabric laid over it and it's got two coats of white paint on it and so I'm going to kind of trim around the basic shape. And I'm going to leave a little bit of overhang. I can fold around to the back. And I'll probably Mod Podge it on. I'll put the Mod Podge down. Probably. And then lay the fabric over it. And I was going to try to save my fabric and just use the edge. But there wasn't pretty flower print on it then. Let me start. And then I'll quit recording and finish. And I think... Now this is a stretchy kind of fabric and I think it would be a lot more difficult one that's not stretchy. So this is a good thing. Like well, if I cut too short in some area I can stretch it a little. But if I stretch it a lot um, I would end up distorting the flowers. So I don't want to do that. If it didn't have a print I could just go stretch crazy I guess. But uh, I'll be doing this. Okay, you might hear TV in the background, but, um, so I got it laid out there, but I'm going to show you this fabric I found. I've had it. I just found it in my junk pile. <laughs> my stacks of clutter. I don't know if you can appreciate how pretty that looks on film. 
It ain't that pretty, but it's not spring looking, so that might be a future one. So, get this back down here. And I don't know if I said I decided to use Mod Podge to get this down. Then I could spray like a, even though this is kind of shiny, but it's the matte one. Where are you at? Okay. Uh, but I'll spray it with some matte spray maybe when I get through. And I got some bits and pieces from that old screen door. <laughs> oh, goodness. In here. So I'll have to pick them out as I go if, if that's a problem. But let's line this up. And much by it, it takes my breath for some reason. But anywho, not bad, but some. Don't paint it on here. Not goopy thick, but I guess a little bit thick. I'm not going to stretch it. Feels like I didn't. Well, yeah, I got some there. And then these edges. Whoop. See, I'm going to have to pull it over. I didn't allow enough to go over the edge of this side. So I'm going to lift it back up. Just have to keep working with it. Because I don't want to stretch it a lot. Since it'll distort it. The picture. I bet they can cut it big enough. Or something. Okay. Alright, we got it on this part. Peel it back to where it's shiny with the Mod Podge. Paint it on there. So there's base that screen door stuff. <laughs> Paint chip. Grunge. Oh, there's some more. This way a little bit. Oh, I got a little bit of a wrinkle. I'll pull it this way because I need a little extra fabric down here, I believe, for the toe area. I get the wrinkle out. But that does show me something. If I did miss a spot with Mod Podge, um. Of course, I could go over top of it with it. It would leave like bubbled up white wallpaper would, you know. And that little dent in the leg, I'm just going to stick it down in it. Okay, that's what I'll be doing. Alright, now on the inside, I'm going to take this tacky glue. And I'm going to run it. If I get it shook down good. I'm going right, to run it right on the edge. It's hard to squeeze because apparently it's kind of clogged. Anyway, I'll do it like this and then I'll fold the fabric over. And I'm only only I'm only gonna work uh, sections at a time where I can flip it over because if I just went all around and I had puckers, you know it'd be harder to fix. But uh let's see. Well let me go ahead and do this. Oh, and something I forgot to do and forgot to tell you also is in between, lay your bottle down with the cap on it or even without it if it ain't real full where you don't have to shake it back down like this every time. This is some thick glue and it's hard to shake it down. So there I'm going to lay it down. I ain't even got the cap on it. And it might be a good idea to have a wet towel for your fingers. Let's see. So there's that edge. And she's got lumps, but she's lumpy. What can I say? <laughs> Lay it down. 
Where you at? Right there. And smear it around good right up to the edge. Okay. So we got the other side glued down. So let's see where you at. See, it ain't gonna stretch enough to get much over. So I guess it's better to cut your fabric a little bit large. Rather than being greedy and wanting to hang on to it like me. <laughs> it's just so pretty. I figure the Mod Podge will hold it on there, but the tech glue will just be even better. That's why I'm doing it, pushing the glue way up to the edge. Or make sure where I, you know, I'm stingy about cutting it, that I'll have enough to wrap over there. And let's see what we got. So there's what we got on the foot so far. And I'd even thought about, since she's so lumpy, I, I probably should have. I thought about um, some of those little molded shapes under there painted white also that kind of show through but i don't know so i'll continue with this one thing i thought of is you could uh go ahead and do a big area with your tacky glue you know i was kind of scared to at first but as i work you know it'll be getting tackier so that might be a good idea <laughs> got it all on here and folded down it's kind of dark. Oh, there we go. Now you can see. Um, see, it's kind of lifting there. I'm going to have to put some more. I'm just going to put Mod Podge on top because I don't want to go out there and spray it and get it all stinky like spray paint. <laughs> and there's that's drying. So it's blending in pretty good. And uh, I have a seam at the top, but that's okay because I'm going to put something kind of look like a dress or something up there or maybe flowers. But it gets kind of soft when it's wet with a uh, Mod Podge or whatever. Although I did use this uh, this uh, waterproof glue. So, let's see how Mod Podge do on it again. So, I guess I need to put a pretty thick coat. Go a little heavy on it, but I'll need to. And then uh, right there, I'll have to make sure I have that little pucker smoothed out. And I'm noticing like where the dents are. If I'm not making this one rough and old looking, those might look strange. So I may have to age her a little bit. <laughs> but okay, I'll be painting this pretty thick coat on now okay and I've decided to put it up here for the Mod Podge to dry where it's not stuck to this but I can't fit it down on it good because I got the hanger on the back and it just it don't fit it good anymore so let's try to do this let's see how that curls in I want to try to stop that so we'll let that dry Okay, I've been trying to figure out what to add to this. And this is the fabric that I got that off of. And I was thinking of making like a little shoe. You know, kind of like a ballerina shoe or something. Well, let me do it this way. But you can see through it. <laughs> I don't know if that would matter. Or I could just do like, you know, cut maybe this trim off. And tie maybe an X shape. I think that's what I did on the other one. Just have it loosely, uh, you know, dangling. So I'll put this color down here. And I've been going through my flowers. I hadn't opened this in a long time. Let me just quickly show you some of them. There's that one. And that one. And that one. Look at that. Ooh. And that one's soft and pretty and 
these two. Where you at? Okay. And that one. And those two. Now I think if I make a leg or something with, let me do this out. Well, oh, there it is. With something like this, I think these flowers would go great with it. Oh, look at a bunch of them. But anyway. So, let me keep going. Let's see. And the bright yellow one. I think that was Dana's favorite at one point. She's my my biggest fan. <laughs> and uh, that one. And I made these. I can't remember what you call that material. Anyway. Another purple one. These are some of my experiments. Now that don't look like something I made. Well, I guess it is. I don't remember. But these, there's a really popular video. I'll put a link to the video on how to make these. Because uh, people apparently really like that video. I had... Let's see. I think all these in it. It's been a while. I don't know. I think it was all these. Oh, well, and these I tried to make with the... I forget what you call that, too. And that one. A couple of those. And then some more. Oh, that one's pretty. So that matches those I was holding up to that fabric. See so if it's got the burlap with the lace in it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's pile them back. They're getting kind of smushed. But, uh, so I got some stuff that I think would match this. I'm thinking about putting that at the top. Kind of just poof it around. And that means I'll have to go hunt a, a glue gun or something, I guess. I don't know how to attach it. And so I've got these two that was out of this box. And I've got that. They all match pretty good. I think that one's a little too bright. So I'll put it back in the box. But these, see how shabby these are? I think they would look good. But I like those. <laughs> these are a little too white, I guess. I might put one down here. You know, if I use like little ties. I might could use one like that on her ankle area. Like back there, maybe. That's too big. So I'll keep it out. Keep it in mind. So, what I'm going to be doing. And I don't know if I showed y'all I went over that with Mod Podge. And it don't feel as hard. It must still be a little bit. I don't know. Moist. I don't know. But, I'll figure out a way to do my little poof thing. I guess I'll show it when I figure out a way. Show myself doing it. I can always fast forward it where I don't have an hour long video. Again. And then show what I do down here. But I was just showing you how I'm trying to get ideas. And this, it was just, it's just way too bright. Well, that kind of looks good with those. I don't know. I'll be thinking. <laughs> okay, I had two of the little curtains like this. The flimsy one with the little dots. And, uh... So I took one of them and I gathered up all four corners and then the loopy parts I pulled up in it and uh, I gathered it, put a rubber band around it and then I put tacky glue and now I'm afraid it still won't, you know, stay together and we'll let tacky glue on it. So <laughs> I didn't have it laying sideways. I gotta shake it down. So I'm gonna put a lot more glue. And then I'm gonna take this little piece of that fabric that I cut. And I'm gonna lay it up here. I put the glue. Then I put the little piece. And that piece is kinda big, so I'm just gonna fold it over it. 
and hopefully that'll help keep it from uh, coming loose if the rubber band was to, you know, dry and break. But um, it looks like this fabric frays pretty good. Can you see right there? So, hmm, it might be good for some shabby flowers if I get back into making my flowers. <laughs> but anyway, I got this step done. And I'm afraid to lay it there to show you how it might look because I might get glue all over it. So, that's where I'm at so far. You know what? I thought I'd try something. I want y'all's opinion on it. Uh, I thought, well, it could be like a wall hanging base. Maybe like a wall pocket. I don't know. I don't even know what people use wall pockets for. But, uh... I thought, well, if I could get a bunch of roses and maybe hide that gap, bend them down better. I'm just kind of shoving stuff up there. You know, and you got a picture hanging on the wall. Maybe see what it looks like again. Well, they kind of spread out when I let go of them. I guess if you ever got them looking nice, wrap a wire around them or something. But, I don't know. Let's get it. Oh, I don't want to get it on that glue. I got my glue drying right there. <laughs> oh no. It's kind of plain looking though. I don't know if it would need, you know, something like that also. So maybe this way. I don't know, it's hard to tell with it. I may have to be careful with that glue. But, I don't know. Give me an opinion on it. Okay, I spent a little bit of time messing around with this, and I got to this point. And I'm going to save my little pretty unraggedy poofy for another one that I make smoother. Because I held this up against the wall with those flowers poked down in it. And, you know, you can see all that roughness. And the reason it is rough is when I done the paper mache, I done it on the outside. And so, you know, paper mache, it's not going to be, like, smooth. And then, it got all beat up and stuff laying on it and yonder. And, uh, so then I put it back in here and wet it on the inside. But it didn't make it uh, smooth, smooth. <laughs> it helped shape it back into a leg shape. And so to get a smooth one, I'll have to put paper mache on the inside and let it dry. Which, it takes forever to dry that way. But anyway... So I might make a smooth one one day, so I'm going to hang on to that for that. Um, but I just couldn't stand seeing all these dents, because, you know, if I decorate it like, what I call, serious or smooth and pretty, new looking, all these dents ain't going to make sense. <laughs> so I had to rag this one up. And so I got what was left off that one curtain. I got another curtain the size of that one. And so what the scraps that was left, I ragged them up, and I'm gonna fray them a little bit. Okay, I wanted to show you what I did on the back side. I glued all this in, and then I put a thick layer of just the hot, hot glue on it. In case I do stuff flowers in it, they won't be catching on it quite as bad, and you know, keep it a little organized, and lay in where I want it. And then right here, I probably could have tied this directly to the metal. I didn't think it'd be long enough. So I tied a bread tie to that metal piece. And then tied this hem to the bread tie. And this hem has a hole. I said somebody can hang it like that. And then I reinforced my little knot with some hot glue. And uh, let me turn around and I'll show you what we got so far. Well, I'll have to hold it up. Okay, I didn't get the... The skirt part laid out exactly like I had it, but it still looks pretty good. I figured it'd show up good there, but it don't really show up good. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I got on the dress so far. And then maybe I can show you a close-up of this little... That little place where I tore her pantyhose or whatever. Let's see if I can zoom. Sometimes it focuses better that way. Yeah. There we go. 
Okay, and now I'm going to rip some more holes in her hose. Oh, and glue the lace on her foot. And I'll be back. Okay, I took some pictures out of the hallway where I could put it up there to show y'all. And <laughs> I was trying to make a springtime cheerful pretty leg, and it ended up like all my other projects. <laughs> Old looking. So this is my second franken leg. And I'll show you up close. I put one of my little handmade flowers up here. I got the LED light in the hallway. I hate that light. Makes everything look a little bit strained. And I even tore the lace. So. And her knees had a pretty rough time. And right there really had enough time, a rough time because I went all the way through to the paper. <laughs> With my seam ripper, so I had to glue the white part back. I thought about making a hole all the way through, but I didn't. And there's another hole. And I tore part of the lace on her ankle and added that flower. Let me get out of the light. And then we go on down her foot. Well, there's a rough place. And I didn't tear that lace. But, I don't know if you can see it, but her toe... The way the light does these shadows. I'll insert this after the part where I'm trying to show the toe in that w weird lit hallway. So there's her toe and I left a little bit sticking out right there. So I'll just show you all the way up through here too. Where she, you know, because I was videoing here anyway. So there she is in the flower. It's not showing right here. But now one thing I have noticed and I noticed it, you know, that little mannequin I made out of uh, lint, dryer lint. They, it got floppity. You know, uh, it's not as hard as it was before I put the Mod Podge on it. But I'm wondering, and you know, that's how the dryer lint thing done when I put whatever I put on it. And I don't know if I didn't let the first layer dry good. And so it kind of sealed in some moisture that's going to take a while. I'm going to lay it on the heater vent <laughs> see if it hardens back up. But uh, maybe I'll remember to put in the description if it did. Or maybe it just going to stay that way. I don't know. Let me go. Well, no, I don't know what I did with my little mannequin. I was going to say I'd get it and see if it ever hardened. I think it hardened up. Not ever as hard as it was. So, i got to figure out a way to do this without softening my paper mache or lint or whatever I'm using. But, I mean, she's still, you know, hard enough. She's just not as hard as she was. Anywho. But, anyway. Now, let's get on with the hallway again. Her toes had a pretty rough day. But, the other franken leg didn't even have a toe. It fell off. So... <laughs> You know, I think it actually looks better with that light shining on it. I need to get real with my lights. <laughs> Start to have me a place set up with good lighting to show things. So, anyway, maybe I can get a thumbnail out of this.